Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here, back again with another Fantasy Magic item review. In this set of videos, I look through the Fantasy Army books, pick out some eye-catching magic items, and share them with you guys. Now these reviews will not be how these items help your army tactically, but more from a fluff and modeling point of view. Now that said, this week's magic item is the Fellblade from the Skaven Army book. Um, as far as I know, this is like the granddaddy of swords. This thing is massively powerful and um, it has a really uh, strong part in pretty much the fantasy all not just Skaven lore but pretty much all over uh, the old world fantasy lore so um, it comes in at 100 points it's the most expensive item in the whole book there's only one item that's 100 points and that's the one and uh, so let's just look at the fluff here this is the Sword of Swords that was created by the Skaven to destroy the greatest necromancer to ever walk the world. Raw warp stone was smelted into stolen Gromra. Incarnations of doom were heaped upon this cursed blade. Death itself was bound to its cutting edge, and any with elder sight can see the aura of power and ruin that surrounds this wicked creation. No foe can stand before it, and even the wielder must succumb to the baleful effects. So pretty much this was, um, as far as my memory serves me right now, this was created to um, kill Nagash. Just gave him or wanting to get rid of him. So they made this for, no I'm not sure what the guy's name was but he was, they, they had him, uh, Nagash had him tied up or kept in a dungeon but they created this blade they gave to him and this was made to kill Nagash. Um, I got pretty darn close up but I didn't quite do the job. And then... Um, yeah, so just have a quick look at the rules just to kind of give us an idea of how strong this is in the game. This foul sword gives the bear strength 10 and successful ward saves must be re-rolled. Any unsaved wounds caused by the fell blade are multiplied into d6 wounds. Roll a d6 at the end of each wielder's turn and a 3 plus there is no effect and a roll of 1 to 2. The wielder suffers 1 wound with no armor save allowed. So basically... Um, now you can see why it's a hundred points. Um, any Skaven character, the only, uh, just from flicking back to this, I think the only character that can take this is the Warlord. Um, any of this named characters can't take it, I don't think. And uh, the next, the, the next kind of upper guy is the Chieftain, and he can only take fifty points worth of items. So if you want to be modeling this, you're going to have to have it on a Warlord. Um, and it gives us strength 10 and so let's have a look with the fluff so it's giving us strength 10 it's going to want to be a big sword I'd imagine or even I don't even think you could you could get away with doing it more like a big halberd either if you wanted to um, like, as long as I think it'd have to be two handed to represent its power and strength um, as for painting it I think you could do you'd have to have some type of like glow or some magical effect on it and um, to represent the war so I think you'd have to have a little bit of green in there at least and then since it's mixed in with, with Dwarven Gromel, Gromel you could do maybe the handle of it um, kind of some you know big ornate design or you could have you could do if you can do like a shiny kind of metal effect on the blade, that could work either, but I think it's I think it'd be important to get the warp stone into it. Um I mean, I'm just trying to think what else could represent. Um the wheeler suffers one moon on a roll of one or two. So you could kind of show like if you're modeling this with a guy, show some like battle scars on him. Maybe look like he's after losing like an eye or something like that. Um because if you're going to go around with this, I think eventually you will um, start to lose some of your... Uh, you will start getting hits from it, if you know what I kind of mean. So, um, yeah, so that's it. It's a really nice looking item by the fluff. You know, it's a pretty iconic type of thing. So, um, that's it for the Fellblade. Nice, quick and easy review just to have a quick look at it. Definitely something I'd want to model. 
I'd like to do a chief, uh, not a chief, then a warlord model with this. So, um, let me know what you guys think of the fell blade. Um, what color scheme would you go with it? Personally, I think I'd stick with the green. Um, try and get a good green glow on it. Um, pretty powerful look on it. And definitely has to be two handed item anyway, I think. Um, well, with 100 points, you're not going to be able to get any more items, so it's going to take up everything anyway. So, let me know what you guys think anyway. And leave a comment below, hit the like button, and if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week with another uh, Fantasy Magic item review. Thanks for watching.